Welcome back to BB Kingle and today I found some very compelling ghost images found from a lighthouse in St Augustine in Florida. So these are the two pictures here. One is showing a shadow figure looking over a balcony railing on a staircase and the other one is a woman on the observation deck of the lighthouse. Now let me go into detail about the lighthouse and why it is haunted. The Spaniards built a lighthouse which crumbled and fell into the sea. So a new one began structure in 1871 and then it was finally finished in 1874 in the same place. And that lighthouse is the one that still stands there to this day. When construction began in 1871 there was a man who overseen all work done on site and his name was Hezekiah Pity. Hezekiah brought his kids with him. And like everyone knows, the lighthouse is not the best place to keep kids occupied, especially over a long time, which we know as three years. So they had to find a way to prioritise themselves. They took a liking to the supply cart that came from the ocean to the lighthouse. So they'd usually spend their time messing about on the carts going back and forth. However, on July 10th, 1873, Hezekiah's world would come crashing down. Three children were messing about in the cart and sadly it toppled off the rails and went into the sea, drowning all three of them. Two of which were Hezekiah's oldest, Eliza and Mary. People say that there's children that haunt the lighthouse. These are the ones that can be heard running, laughing and sometimes crying. Slamming doors, opening doors, being mischievous just like they were when they were alive. Going back to the pictures I was shown at the start, could this be either of the girls messing on with the people who have took these pictures? The man in blue is also another ghost that's said to haunt the lighthouse, and his name is Joseph Andrew. Joseph used to be an old caretaker at the lighthouse, and he was painting the walls right at the top floor when he fell to his death. Now, the man in blue could also be another caretaker who hung himself due to loneliness, but either way, the ghost that haunts these hallways, called the Man in Blue, is not the nicest. The Man in Blue is known as the aggressive one out of all the spirits. He's been known to nudge, scratch and pull guests as they've been walking around the lighthouse. People also know when he's near due to the very strong cigar scent he leaves behind after he's been wandering the halls. There's a bit of history out this place, there's a lot of energy going on in there and one of the pictures, this one here, the shadow figure looking over the staircase, was actually pictured by a member of the Ghost Hunters team. Now, even the lead man of Ghost Hunters, Jason Hawes, says that this place is the Mona Lisa of paranormal sites. They've been there many a time and continue to go back due to the high amount of activity in there. And this is one of the pictures that they've managed to capture, this shadow figure looking over the balcony. As for the other picture, it was taken by a couple. They were in the foreground of the picture and the lighthouse was in the background. And then they managed to capture this girl on the observation deck, I think wearing a white dress with dark hair, which is totally one of the girls that was Hezekiah's daughters, I think, it's a no brainer. That's a clear, clear image of someone up there, but no one is allowed up there without obviously the safety precautions and just a random guest can't just go up. So BB Kingle is saying, one picture's been looked at by ghost hunters and analysed by experts and the other one wasn't even the target of the picture and not the main purpose of the picture. They just caught it. So these two are pretty good pieces of evidence for this lighthouse. I'll dig into it a bit more and see if I can find any more pieces of evidence. But ghost hunters have been there a lot. So as of now, looking at these images, to me they are definite ghost images. I can't see anything to debunk them. Let me know in the comments if there is more information that I've missed out due to the position of the cameras that were used and is it just a slight trick of the person in the foreground and there's a shadow, could it be something along those lines? And also let me know if there's any other images you want me to look at and go into the detail about where they were taken and how they were taken. And also, since you're here, check this video out. 
and follow me while I hunt for paranormal sightings and events that are beyond belief.